Hi guys, how are you? Hope you are doing good. Welcome back to the channel and stay home and stay healthy. Stay, stay safe. Today let us discuss about the brown plant hopper which is the major pest in the rice and we will we'll be discussing about the uh, introduction and identification of the insects and mark of identification and the nature and the symptoms of the brown plant hopper which is affecting in the rice and we will see about the management practices in the uh, brown plant hopper which is affecting the rice. Uh, let us see the introduction like the rice is the major staple crop for the uh, half of the world's population and it ranks second in the production of rice after the China and if you observe up to 60% yield loss is common in the susceptible rice cultivars attacks by the brown plant hopper and yield loss due to insect pest has been estimated due to 25% to 50 percent the insect pest complex of rice crop has been undergone a drastic change during the last three decades following the green revolution and the brown plant hopper is the major important pest in the rice which is leading to the less yield for the crop and uh, the both nymph stage and the adults of the plant hopper are also transmits the virus such as rice ragged stunt virus next let us see that uh, it is increasing the level of the plant hopper occasionally in the crop and also decreases in the substantial level of the rice crop through virus diseases and loss is more due to this brown plant hopper pest and insects occurred in India and also in the US it estimates loss due to BPH and grasses turn diseases total more than uh, 300 millions and let us see the sign what is the scientific classification of the brown plant hopper it belongs to the kingdom animalia phylum arthropoda class insecta order hemiptera family delphicidae and genus nila parvata species lugens which is called as nila parvata lugens and what it does and why and where it occurs the plant uh, brown plant hopper what it actually does to the rice plants and where does it occur commonly let us see what it does first what it does means high population of the plant hoppers cause a leaves causes the leaves to initially turn to the orange yellow first they appear in the orange yellow before becoming brown and dry and this condition is called hopper burn that kills the plant BPH can also transmit the rice ragged stunt and rice grasses stunt diseases. Neither diseases can be cured. Let us see why and where it occurs. Some of the BPH has been occurring in the rain fed conditions and in the irrigated wetland environments and also occurs in the submerged conditions in the field and where the humidity is high they occur the most. The closed canopy of the rice plants due to the densely seeded crops they grow densely and they show the BPH more and excessive use of nitrogen and early season insecticide spraying also favors the insect development. So some of the selective pesticides should be used for this uh, BPH and uh, we should manage the BPH. Let us see what are the mark of identification in the BPH in the rice plants. As the name indicates BPH brown plant hopper, nymphs and the adults are brown in color while WPH nymphs are white or gray and adults are striped at their black. And the GLX adults are green, green with black spots and the patch on the wings they can be seen in the sideways here you can observe the black color spots and patches on the wings the bph and wph are occur in long winged here you can observe the structure of the uh, brown plant hopper insect long winged and short winged forms these are small insects measuring 3 to 4.5 mm 
and the BPH is also known to undertake the long range migration. It is work of identification. And let us see about the host plant. What is the host plant of BPH? The BPH is the monophagous and feeding only on the rice. However, there is no choice conditions. BPH will feed on the finger millet, sugarcane, maize, cypress, sorghum and wheat. Some of the cereals and uh, the distribution of BBH is the most economically important plant hopper in Asia and the brown plant hopper occurs throughout the India like Indi, uh, Sri Lanka, India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, China, Indonesia and Philippines. In India, it is mainly found in Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. And let us see about the morphology of the a brown plant hopper. Let us see first about the eggs. The eggs are uh, crescent shaped and on average 0.99 mm long. As you can observe here, the newly laid eggs are whitish and they turn to the darker when about to hatch. The female can lay about 100 to 500 eggs depending upon the stage of the growth of the rice plant. And the egg stage is about 7 to 11 days. Here you can observe the white, whitish eggs and they, they are becoming darker. Let us see the nymph stage. There are the five nymphal stage instars that all feed on the host plants flow and sap until the adult stage. And uh, in the nymph stage, they feed on the flow and sap for the food purpose. The nymph had at the triangle head. Here you can observe that they are having the triangle head with an arrow vertex. The body is creamy white with pale brown tinge. The mature nymphs are about 2.99 mm. Here you can see the adult stage of the uh, brown plant hopper. The adult female measures from 4.2 to 4.5 mm and the male also will be about 3.80 to 4.12 mm. The adults range in color from brownish black to yellowish brown and there is a distinct white band on the mesonotum with dark brown on the outer sides. There will be a long wing as we discussed and have normal font and hind wings whereas short winged forms stunted hind wings. The wings are also normally shorter in males than in females. And life cycle of the brown plant hopper. In the South India, maximum population between October and February. This depending on the climate conditions, they increase or decrease. And there will be a severe increase of brown plant hopper in the Karif seasons. And brachiophyte lays about 300 to 350 eggs. Incubation period will be about the 4 to 8 days. The nymphal period 2 to 3 weeks with 5 insta stages. The adult longevity will be about 10 to 20 days. Here you can observe the period and the duration of them. Uh, life cycle has been going and here you, if you observe uh, here the X stage. First it will be with the white and uh, then later it becomes darker and 7 to 10 days it shows the nymphal stage. First in with 5 insta stages. First, second, third, fourth, fifth and 10 to 15 days is covered for the insta stages and they develop to the adults. Female 21 days and male 18 days they, they transform to the adults. After the, the, after the mating, the gravid female and they also uh, uh, lays the eggs in 24 hours and like this the generations completing. And coming to the nature and the symptoms of the damage, there are some of the symptoms and damage. The nymphal and adult congregates the base of the plants. Here, if you observe, here the basis of the rice plants has been damaged with the uh, this uh, nymphal stages and sucking the sap, a phloem sap, in the rice plants and affecting them more. And first infestation, the leaf turns to the yellow and later it turns to the brown. Affected plants dry and die.
the first sign of the damage is sudden slumping of the crop in the patches of the field. If you observe here the conidia of the Alternaria brassica, how it is affecting the rice plants and the crop in this affected patches dries up and scorched appearance called hopper burn. So the name has been discovered with the brown hopper. Cross loss is usually considerable and complete destruction crop occurs in severe cases. If you come to the reasons why the brown plant hopper is the break for the rice and there is a decrease in the loss of the yield, the continuous cultivation of susceptible varieties. So we should take the resistant varieties for the BPH and closer planting and dense Seeded will be in, uh, increase the BPH and uh, decrease the yield. The favorable microclimate also uh, increases and widespread migration of winged macro terrans forms to endemic and new areas. Continuous uses of same group of insecticides will also uh, to be avoided. Use of high doses of nitrogenous fertilizers is the main is the reason for the brown plant outbreak and management uh, the cultural control will be like adopting the planting with formation of alloys of 25 centimeters at interval of 2 meters to provide a good aeration in the sunlight avoid the dense planting as we discussed before the closer planting should not be uh, uh, should not be encouraged and excess application of nitrogen fertilizer may be avoided it should be avoided in vegetative phase of the crop period the periodical drying and wetting may be followed for short period to create the disturbance in the microclimate conditions and coming to the uh, resistant varieties like chaitanya krishnaveni chandan triguna deepthi nandi vijeta prati pratita Vajram. These are the developing resistant varieties to the biotype development and there will be more uh, increase in the research for the plant, research of plant breeding for the, uh, for the resistance to the diseases and for the profit to the uh, crop, uh, profit and healthy crop will be added and the predators will be green mirrored uh, bugs and carabid beetles. Both shiny black larvae, reddish brown adults search for the ricey canopy for the prey as they, uh, they will become the predator for the prey as you can observe and the lady beetle will be the uh, like this and this will be uh, searching for the prey for the rice and here you can observe the chemical control what are the chemical controls to be followed for the brown plant hopper means for the application of this chemical insects which will be effective against the brown plant hopper means monocroto first 36 percent sl 1.3 ml per liter of water and chlorophyry first you should uh, apply 20 ec 2.5 milliliter per liter of water Carboryl 50 wettable sulfur 2 grams per liter of water for it 10 grams at 10 kg per hectare or carbofuron 3 grams of uh, at 25 kg per hectare. This will be some of the management practices for the uh, uh, do for the BPH to reduce the BPH uh, outbreak and these are some of the points which are involved in the brown plant hopper of the rice and this is the uh, egg stage nymphal adult these are the three stages of the bph and this will be the uh, destructive for the crop rice so some of the measurements to be taken and reduces the uh, which reduces the brown plant hopper and increases the healthy rice crop If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon.